Well, the state house buzzed with activity today as Nicholas Mattiello is named Rhode Island's new House Speaker. It's a name you're going to be hearing a lot moving forward. Iowa News News reporter Kelly Sullivan has in-depth coverage tonight. She joins us now live in our studio with reaction to today's election. Kelly. Well, Mike, even before former House Speaker Gordon Fox formally resigned, the now Speaker Nicholas Mattiello held caucuses over the weekend to garner support from his colleagues. Meanwhile, Michael Marcello also previously claimed he had enough votes to become the next Speaker. Well, tonight we hear from both sides of the vote and why some didn't vote at all. The former House Majority Leader needed just 38 votes to become Rhode Island's next Speaker of the House. Once you get to that uh, coveted number, it, it, all the dominoes fall in place. And with 61 votes... ...that Nicholas Mattiello of District 15 in Cranston has been elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. Representative Patricia Serpa nominated now Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, saying she immediately recognized his leadership qualities. It's in his DNA. I knew this day would come. I'm sad about the circumstances, but he is the right man for the job. But six representatives didn't believe he was. They instead voted for Representative Mike Marcello. He was the only one who reached out to me, so uh, I, you know, everything that I received with regard to uh, Mr. Mattiello was either secondhand or you know what I had read in the paper. And then there were six others who didn't vote for either. We're in the middle of a vote. Representative Patricia Morgan wanted to know if either candidate would support her policies to help struggling Rhode Islanders. She claims neither did. I want to know that whoever we put up on that rostrum understands that and will have the policies that will make this place easier for everybody to live in. In this transitional time in the legislature, Governor Lincoln Chafee says the focus now is to keep moving and working with the new speaker. As the majority leader of the House, uh, we're frequently together. Uh, I like him and look forward to working with him. Mattiello tells Eyewitness News he plans to name his committee chairs by Thursday, and there could be sweeping changes after some of Fox's lieutenants backed Marcello. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.